located an hour due south of downtown Houston sits the quiet community of Angleton. With a population of just under 20,000, it's a tight-knit community where youth sports is a big part of daily life. It's best known for having a top-notch football program that has produced seven NFL players over the years. The Wildcats had an early exit this year, but the basketball team looks ready to make some noise in the postseason. After going three rounds deep last season, this year's group has had to adjust to a new coach as David Coonson comes over from Pearland Dawson. He's excited about the potential of his team, but admits the transition has taken a little time. This year, I think one of the, the biggest things we've had to focus on um, is guys trusting our new system coming in because when we came in, we changed a lot of stuff that they had been doing in the previous years because Coach Anderson was here. He left, he went to the Austin area. Um, and so coming in, there's, a, there's been a lot of trust that we've had to develop with our guys. We've came in this year with a lot of high expectations, um, a lot of goals, and those guys have, have picked it up right where we left off, and, and I feel like we just keep getting better every single day. The new system had made Solomon Smith a focal point of what the Wildcats are trying to do. At 6'5", 240, he's a matchup nightmare. Coaches and players are quick to point out that he's been a great leader on and off the court. In district, he's averaging about 10 and a half rebounds a game right now. Um, he's been a leader. Um, he's, he's talking to the guys in the locker room. He's talking to them on the bus. And it, he, it's something that's very important to him. Um, he wants to be successful. Solomon, he's a good, he's a good post player. He has good post moves, and on, on the court, Solomon is a good teammate, and off the court, he's a good teammate. He, put, he lifts you up every, on and off the court. He brings energy, keeps everybody on track, which is what they're supposed to do. Though it's his first head coaching job, David Coonson is excited about what lies ahead. Reed Lyman has created a more favorable playoff road, and with six players back from last year's squad, he likes the team's chances to do something special. All those teams in, in Region 3 that are just really, really solid teams, we don't see as many of those. There's, there's some really good teams in Region 4, but we just don't see as many. Um, and, and that's good for us. Um, you know, we, we, we like to be competitive. Um, we try to get better all the time. But at the same time, we also understand that we have a really good shot to getting all the way to Austin this year.